Hi everybody, it's Nani. How you doing today? I'm great. I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you and found some good stuff. I've been watching for these and I finally found them. You guys have been telling me they're out there and I found them. It is the Goalie Bites. There's three different ones that we found. I don't know how many other formulations there are running around out there. We we picked up the super greens and the apple cider vinegar, <clears throat> but I was looking for these bites. So we found these, these three different styles. And this one, I did end up getting, I think two more bottles of it. We stopped at two stores in one day. We picked up just these three in the one store. And then when I saw that this has ashwagandha in it, in the next store that we went to, I picked up two more. These are the Goldie Bites. Calm is what the name of this is. And the purple packaging, This ben it says benefits in every bite and it says keep calm and relax. It's a dietary supplement, of course. There's 30 pieces in here, 25 calories. This has ashwagandha and reishi, R-E-I-S-H-I, -I, mushroom extract. Gluten-free, no artificial colors or flavors, vegetarian, Delicious taste, no added preservatives. So I think that is amazing. And it says made in an FDA registered CGMP certified facility in the USA. And I believe they all say the same thing when it comes to that. But anyway, this has the ashwagandha and mushroom. So I picked up several of these. This one is the Energy which is vitamins B6, B9, B12, guarana extract, and caffeine. So these give you a little bit of extra pep to your step. And it's also 30 pieces. And then this one is a multi, and it says more than 10 vitamins and essential nutrients. Promotes overall health, and it's 30 pieces in this as well. And it has about the same information, I think, on the backs. So we went ahead and picked up one of each of these to try. The, this one, the expiration is August of 23. This one, the expiration is September of 23. It's hard to hold these bottles. And this one is December of 23. So we're gonna try them all. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I, I'm just curious to see, and I did, pre twist off the lid because they're childproof and it, it took me a while but I, I want to see what they look like I'm assuming they're all sealed they smell good there's two stuck together here they're just little tiny chocolate bites so yeah I'll be the one that takes these so it's okay they kind of smell like raspberries I'm gonna go ahead and bite into one They're just brown inside. They taste okay. Let me see what's the serving size of this. It's probably two. They taste just fine. Enjoy two pieces twice daily is the serving. And this one says reduces stress, promotes relaxation, improves quality of sleep. So yeah, it does say it has it's milk chocolate acai berry flavor. I know I could smell berries, taste berries. Does this say what this flavor is? It looks like this lid is cockeyed. Milk chocolate vanilla cocoa flavor. This looks like it, the lid wasn't on, but it's on and it's sealed, so that's good. It didn't look like it. And this one is milk chocolate salted caramel flavor. So yeah, I'm gonna try these. Why not? They're expensive in other stores. So all right, enough on that. And then I got this. Why? Because it was on the shelf and I saw it and I have not had these forever and I wanted some chocolate pudding. So these are gonna go right in the refrigerator because I like them cold and this is gonna be my snack for tonight. I have not had a snack pack. I buy them for the kids, but I personally don't eat them. And I was buying the chocolate ones, the um, sugar-free, and I think they were chocolate with vanilla, like kind of stripe. 
I was buying those continuously a while back and also the sugar-free jellos, the snack pack jellos, but I haven't bought them for a long time, but the, it just caught my eye and I wanted it. So I got it. And then they had these. Hubby loves pecan pie. Absolutely loves them. I think it's his favorite pie. And they had these little tiny Duchess ones. They're just a little tiny palm in your hand size. They do come in a little metal pie pan, if you can see it in there. The best buy on this is April 22nd of 23. So he'll have to eat this soon, but he loves pecan pie. If you guys have tried this, let me know how it is. I'll try to save the wrapper and give you a, a review and a finds and fails. Which way do I go here, guys? I picked up, if you guys follow me or follow Allison, the girls are really getting into craft. Well, they're into crafting, but they're very, really getting into sewing and making things with fabrics. And I saw these felt, felt sheets. They're called a felt roll. They had these two different color combinations. So I grabbed one of each of them. These are really pretty shades of yellows and oranges. And this one is blues and purples and black. And they are, does it give you a dimension? No, it does not. I have no idea how big these are, guys. You can see the size of the roll there. So I have no idea how big these are. But I picked up this, and then I saw these. They are felt sheets, and you get eight pieces in here. And this one, they're more like pastel colors. There's a real bright green and yellow in there, peach on the back. And then this one looked totally different. This one looks like more um, primary colors. It had the blacks and the more dark green, purple, like a darker purple. Eight sheets in here. So I figured I'd get one of each of those for them. And these are just for them to have. How many is in here? One, two, three, four, five. There's five in each one of these. Just something for them to craft with. Even if they don't use it for sewing, they can use it to just just craft with because yes they are crafty if anybody follows me and reads comments you'll know what I'm talking about and then I got them some actual fabric I've been trying to pick up fabric for them and just different colors different combinations and things so I picked up a couple solid black and these are the fat quarters I believe the 18 by 21 and 100% cotton so I picked up two of those. And thank you for the um, comment that one of you made about taking the paper off, that if you leave this on, it'll kind of funk up your fabric. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go through and take all of it off. And then they had this, and this was just so cool and so funky, I had to pick this up for them. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Just very, very 60s, 70s, I thought that was fun. So I picked up two of those. I like it. So they're getting quite the little fabric collection going on. And then I may as well stick to the Harper line. Every time I talk to her, she always says to pick her up glue. She loves crafting with glue, makes all kinds of things out of it. They make glue sheets and then do things out with it. They make the slime, all of that stuff. So I picked her up a couple more of the Jot glues. We are actually gonna be seeing them here very soon. So that's why I'm getting all this stuff done into a video so I can go ahead and give it to them when, when I see them. But there's two more for you, Harper, if you're watching this video. So I think I have four now to take to her. And these are eight ounces of just the Jot white school glue. She loves this, it's her favorite glue from the Dollar Tree. So why not okay now i picked up why well, didn't actually hubby did we picked up three more of these hot wheels car cases they all have different graphics on the front which it really doesn't matter they hold six hot wheels cars i don't know if you can see in there very well but there's six compartments pretty nice size compartments so we picked those up for toys for tots and then we started picking up they're not Hot Wheels cars, but they're Matchbox. So we picked up these three. We got a FedEx truck, 
I told hubby that he needs to find a, for our train set, his train set, he needs to find a FedEx truck, a UPS truck, and a mail truck because I'm constantly having things delivered. But he found a FedEx truck. He found a, I'm not sure what this is. I see the Ford symbol on the top. What is this? Oh, this is a National Park Ford Bronco 2021. That's really cool. I like the color of that. And then he found a Harbor Ferry Transport. It's a Nissan NV van. So we're just gonna start gathering up this type of thing, at least enough to fill each one of the boxes and for Toys for Tots. Like I said, uh, since I'm done in, with my Easter stuff, it's all done and packaged up and all of that, I'm gonna go to um, just full steam ahead for Toys for Tots and Christmas for the kids and grandkids. I always buy ahead, guys, I just do. I have a Christmas closet. Nobody is allowed in there, it is mine. All year long I'm buying things, I'm putting them in there. I have bins, the um, collapsible bins from the Dollar Tree for each one of the grandkids and then one for each couple of the, the grown-ups. And as the year goes on, I just organize, put things in each one of the bins as I find stuff. And then about October, November, I start wrapping. And it's just so much easier on me to do it that way. Instead of waiting and doing all of the shopping at one time, I just think money-wise, it's easier if you spread it out throughout the year. And I've been doing that forever, and it just works for me. And then I saw these gloves, totally changing the subject, in like the, the hardware section. And I thought these were really interesting. They came in two different colors, gray and this really bright orange. And what caught my eye on these is they say they're cut resistant. They're by Tool Bench. You get one pair. And I believe they're both, it says one size. One size fits most. There's no real size on it. And it says glass fiber reinforced. And it says safety with dexterity. So I thought that was really interesting. So I picked up two. I figured give hubby, hubby one and then probably Brian. I think that's pretty awesome. And Brian is my son-in-law. That's Allison's husband, if you guys aren't following them. But I thought those were really nice. They're very nicely made too. Nice quality. I've never seen such a thing before. I'm, I'm sure it's out there. I've just never seen it. Then I got a carrot. I've been picking up this fake fruit and stuff as I see it. I think I have quite a bit of it now, but this time they had carrots. I'm sure they probably had this out before, way before Easter, and I just didn't see them till now, but I just picked up one. What I'm gonna do with it really is I'm just gonna clean it all up and I'm gonna let the girls, all the grandkids, use it with the kitchen set. They love playing with the kitchen set and you know it's so real looking. I just think they're nice. Very nice size. They, I mean, they look real. So just picked up one carrot. They had a whole big box of them, but I just got one. And then I am always needing these cubes to plug in. They're the USB wall charger cubes. They, it says compatible with USB powered devices. It's like, you I, you never have one where you need it. I, like I need one back here. So when I'm doing things back here, it's just here. And they had a whole bunch of these and I have bought these in the past and they work well. So when I saw it, I grabbed it. Did you guys see my handshake? I have my, my elbow braced on the table and it was still shaking. So apologize for that. And then I think the last thing guys, they had a whole big end cap of all of their new sunglasses for the season. So I went ahead and picked myself up two pair. If you guys have followed me for any length of time, I love the Dollar Tree sunglasses. I love them. And one of my favorite pair, oh, it's the whole way across the room. I can't grab it. They're bigger. They're almost like this. They're bigger, but they have navy blue frames, almost these ad identical colored lenses. I absolutely love them. The leg on them, though, is a little bit wider than this. So it kind of blocks the sun here on the sides. I have them right here. So when I go in and out of the house onto the deck, I have them. I have a pair in my purse. I have pairs in both of our vehicles because I love them that much. But I saw these and thought these were really nice and I love this color lens. And it also says on the front, 
it says ultraviolet protection on both of them. It, it said it on all of them. So I'm not quite sure what that means and what kind of ultraviolet protection, but these work well for me. I didn't take the, the tags off yet. These are big, I like them, very lightweight, something different. I liked the really blue navy colored lens with the um, like tortoise shell. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it is tortoise shell. And I believe they had this exact same style, but maybe with white frames, but don't quote me on that. And then these I thought were really cute. They're more kind of like a round cat eye look. And I thought they were super cute. Something different. And they're just, they're nice. The lenses are super nice. You can see through them well. I like them a whole lot. So yeah, I have I have quite the the sunglass collection, guys. I love I like accessories. I buy usually very very basic clothes, but then I accessorize. I love hats. I love shoes. I love sunglasses, purses, jewelry. That that's just me. I I buy basic clothes that last me thirty years and. You know, but just accessorize and change it out as the seasons come. So anyway, that is it. A pretty big haul. Found some good stuff, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff put away and go about my day. I hope you're all doing well. If you like this type of thing, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my YouTube family. You guys are the best. Have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again here really soon. Peace.